All right, so welcome back to the halfway point of the civil FE exam review. In this section, we're gonna be going through materials. And in this particular video, we're gonna be looking at mixed design of concrete and asphalt. So um, if you have not checked out uh, the mechanics of materials videos, dynamics videos, uh, material and statistics, ethics and professional practice, anything before this uh, seventh section, then make sure you do so. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into these practice problems. So number one says for a concrete mix with this water to cement ratio of um, 0.45 calculate the water content in kilograms if the cement content is 400 kilograms. So we're given water cement ratio and we're also given the cement amount. We're trying to find the water. So this what this WC in ratio stands for water to cement. So when you think of ratios, in this case, what formula would I need? Well, just based off of ratios, a water water to to cement, right? I think of division when I think of ratios. So I know that water to cement is going to equal point four five. All right. So I look at this as okay. I have water and over cement, and I know that that needs to be 0.45. So we're given the cement amount, right? Over the cement, which is 400 kilograms. And if this ratio holds up, it's 0.45, then my water should equal 400 times 0.45, and I get 180 kilograms. So that does that make sense? If I have 180 kilograms, for every 180 kilograms of water, I have 400 kilograms of cement and that gives me a water to cement ratio of 0.45 so my answer is a all right so basic logic there let's look at number two all right so this one says determine the volume of coarse aggregate needed for a concrete mix with a total volume of 1.45 cubic meters and a coarse aggregate ratio of 60%. All right. So what information do they give us? Well, they give us the total volume of the mix, right? And which is 1.5 meters cubed. And they give us the course aggregate ratio. Okay. So if I know that the total, oh, let's see what we're trying to find. What are we trying to find? We're trying to, to determine uh, the volume 
of just the course. All right. So are there formal as needed? Well, not really. I think we're given everything that we need. So if I know that my total volume is one point five meters cubed and I need to get six I need sixty percent of that. because I know my course aggregate ratio of the total amount is 60% of that. So I know that 60% times 1.5 is gonna give me um, zero, it's gonna give me 0 0.9 meters cubed of just course. Right. Another question that they could ask, so that's gonna be C. Another question they could ask is, what would be the volume of what's left, right? And so if I know I have 0.9, if I know that my total is 1.5, and I know that 60% of it is course, I would say 1.5 minus 0 0.9 would give me 1.5 minus 0.9 gives me 0 0.6 meters cubed. Or you could also say, if they if they if they didn't say that, and they said what is left, if you know sixty percent of this course, then you know forty percent because the total needs to be a hundred percent. So you could say uh, forty percent times your one point five, which is still should give you zero point six meters cubed. Okay, a few different ways to solve that problem. All in all, you should still get the same answer. All right. Let's look at number three. It says calculate the asphalt content percentage by weight of total mix for an asphalt mix with a total weight of 1000 kilograms and an asphalt binder content of 5%. Okay. So what are we given? Well, we are given the uh, total weight. Let's change up the color. All right, so we're given the total weight. We are also given the as asphalt content percentage right? of just the asphalt. And so it's saying calculate the uh, asphalt by weight. So uh, we, we need to find the weight of just asphalt. All right, so if I know 5% of it is asphalt and 5% and I know my total weight, I'm just gonna do total weight times the 5% is equal to weight of the asphalt. Okay, so the total weight is a thousand kg. We're multiplying it by five percent. 
which in return gives us 1000 times 5 divided by 100 equals get 50 kilograms. So this one, just make sure you are putting in your numbers right. Um, you could get tripped up if your decimal or something is off. Um, so 50 kilograms of the total weight of a thousand kilograms is just asphalt binder. So, all right, so this concludes the um, mixed design of concrete and asphalt section pretty straightforward in the next section we're going to be looking at our test methods and specifications of metals concrete and a little a few other materials